We are very fortunate to have responsibility over the Space Command Centre. The government has been extremely concerned with the increased sightings of UFOs over the last 10 years. Area 51's funding has increased tenfold. What is expected of your work here? I appreciate that, sir, and I intend to ensure the Space Command Centre will prove to be invaluable to the government in its goal to protect all of the human beings of, of any hostile invasions. I believe the people of this planet are the hostile invaders. The environment really needs a lot more people to start to care for it. Yes, sir. Still, the direct link you have to the President, the Air Force and the International Nuclear Missile Stations will help launch a quick and coordinated attack if necessary. The military practice you just performed was very good. Thank you, sir. May I direct your attention to the galaxy grid? Scientists have made a grid of the entire galaxy. Here, we have the Earth at the origin of the grid, with the coordinates of zero, zero. Now, we have the Moon at two, three. And the Sun at minus two, six. This overview is incredible. We should be able to plot the location and course of any spaceship in our galaxy, whether it belongs to us or the little grey men I keep reading about. Uh, I am picking up reports of an unidentified flying object. It has the coordinates of five minus three. It has stopped and seems to be hovering in that position. Is this all part of your training programme? To show me why millions of tax dollars are spent on this facility? No, sir. Why don't you stand there? Get the location open the galaxy grid so we can see what the UFO is up to. Start at the origin, move five places to the right and three places down. And where are the spaceships we have up there? Get them up in this grid. Now. Yes, sir. We have a ship in the first quadrant at the coordinates of 1-1. One, one. I will start at the origin, move one place to the right and one place up. Oh no. We have another UFO. With the positions of Minus seven, minus seven. Adding that one now, sir. Starting at the origin, moving seven places to the left and seven places down. We have two spaceships at the coordinates of um, minus two, one, and two, minus five. I'll start at the origin, move two places to the left and one place up. And I'll start at the origin again. Two places to the right and five places down. Give me a test report on the UFOs. They are holding position, sir. Get me the Air Force. <laughs> Captain, this is Colonel Stero of the Space Command Center speaking. We have two UFOs holding out positions five minus three and minus seven minus seven. Do your spaceships have a visual on them? No, I'm not making this up because we opened today. Get a visual from your spaceships. That is a direct order. The entire population is worried about getting attacked by aliens and he thinks it's a massive joke. <sighs> Captain, what do you have to report? Approximately how high? Windows? Do the two alien spaceships look the same? So we can safely assume that they are all from the same species. Okay, tell the pilots to hold positions. The Air Force reports that the alien crafts are very bright, shiny, silver in colour, and a cylindrical shape, and a height of a five-storey building with windows all around. They're massive. No way. An alien spaceship has just arrived from behind the sun. This time it is in the second quadrant with the positioning minus three five. It is much larger than the others. Starting at the origins, moving three places to the left and five places up. All right, can I have the president and the air force please? Can you speak to the President once I get more information from the Air Force? Sorry to disturb you, sir, but in the last 10 minutes, three alien spaceships have arrived in our galaxy. How big? 
They match the description of the alien sightings we've had over the last few years. Um, the height of a ten-storey building. They're, they're holding position at the moment and not showing any hostility towards us. Okay, launch our aircraft to the following locations. It is important to be ready to defend the planet. Minus four two. Yes, sir. We'll keep you up to date of any developments. Um, and minus one four. And minus eight minus two. Okay. And send the standard greeting transmission. Try and make contact with them. We do not want to start a war. Not when we don't know what our enemy can do. The president wants to be on full alert and ready to strike if the aliens make a hostile move. I need the phone that will connect me to all the nuclear missile stations across the planet. Okay, thank you. This could be the end for us. We don't know anything about their fire capability. As soon as we launch our nuclear weapons, we're doing horrible things to the planet, even if we win the war. It feels as if we're in a lose lose situation. This is Colonel Strad of the Space Command Center. This is not a practice drill. I repeat, this is not a practice drill. I'm sending you three coordinates where alien spaceships are currently hovering. Aim all your firepower at those three coordinates. Wait for my transmission before you fire. What we can do is wait and... The Air Force are putting through a transmission. It seems it's between one of the alien spacecraft and the mothership. Put it on speakers, Corporal. We all want to know if we're going into war. That's so unfair, Mum. I arrived at 1500 hours Greenwich Mean Time. The Earthlings sometimes call it 3 p.m. I had to wait ages for you to come. Oh, you only had to wait a few minutes. Your aunts and I had to stop off at the Milky Way outlet when we saw that there was a sale on. So because you stopped, I won. I think we can have a proper race on the way home. Mum. Oh, your grandmother says that if your spaceship's faster than ours, you'll win the race home. So what's the problem? Oh, the other alien spacecraft is now transmitting. What did you get at the Milky Way outlet? I was able to get the present we discussed. A bomb or some kind of weapon. Excellent. Now for your birthday, we have brought a new engine for your spaceship, which will help it go faster. Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. Now I really will win the race against the mothership. I doubt that. However, you can keep trying. Now decide which leader you would like to make contact with first. It is very important that you complete your AS level in diplomacy. We have lost all transmissions. Get on to the airports and get that transmission back. Do you think the situation is a family helping their son to complete his A-levels? It seems a bit normal, a bit weird. Well, they are aliens, sir. We need to update the president. It's not a decision to strike or not. I'm glad not to have that responsibility. I need the phone. President on the line for the general. Yes, sir. We heard the transmission. We're about to call you with an update. I wasn't aware of the British involvement. Made contact. A meeting. Afternoon tea. A barbecue. Yes, sir. But no, sir. Not at all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. The aliens made contact with the British. The British Prime Minister has arranged for them to come to afternoon tea today at 4.30. The President has invited them to a barbecue today at the White House. Get back to your work. Colonel. Your orders are to go to the supermarket and buy enough food for 100 people and our visitors for tomorrow's barbecue. General, I didn't speak with the President. Well, I'm not going to do the shopping. Those are your orders, Colonel. Yes, sir. Make sure you get a lot of vegetarian options. And take a lot of shopping bags. We don't want them to think we don't look after our planet. Yes, sir. A barbecue. Corporal, you're in charge of the space center until further notice. Thank you, sir. Oh, sir, should I tell the nuclear missile stations to stand down? Sir? 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 Sir?